All right, here today in the driveway we have a 2005 Jeep Wrangler Sport, and we're going to be doing a wheel bearing or a hub assembly, however you want to look at it. Okay, the tools I have here today is going to be a flathead screwdriver, my Thor hammer, a pair of side cutters. Let's see here, a 34 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, 12 point. You're gonna to have to have that. Another 13 millimeter gator wrench. Yeah, ratchet and breaker bar. I think I don't know if I said side cutters and this 36 millimeter socket and some PB blaster. And then I have a Moog 513158 wheel hub assembly. So let's get started. Of course, first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take off this wheel, which is really easy. That's where the 34 comes in play. This one has a special tool to take out one of the lug nuts. Let's use our 13 millimeter gator wrench and loosen up the caliper. There's two 13 millimeter fasteners for that. This is where our flathead will come in play. Try out our caliper. Now we'll take a little hook right up here into the frame and support the caliper out. Now next we'll pull off our drum, which is kind of seized up on there. A couple of little taps might loosen it up. Nope. Not recommended, but I'm gonna. There we go. I think they want to work it out today on the camera. Pin out. We got two more pieces. Now this is where the 36 is going to come into play. There's the fastener for there. Now we'll take our 13 millimeter 12 point. three of these factors that hold on to this hub assembly. And of course it's gonna kinda of be locked up on there. Give it taps. That pulls just right away. And right there is the old hub assembly. And there's a washer that popped out too. Now to install our new hub assembly. We just reverse the process. Spare into place there. And start applying our fasteners. Get them all started. Now we'll take our caliper here. You'll have to have something to push back the piston. I have my cool little tool here that's a Sears product. It'll help get that caliper back on. Another thing you want to check is make sure your slides are still working on your caliper here. still free so you're in good shape so push them back reapply 
your pads. Now we'll take our rotor, slide it back into place, stick a lug nut, or two. Put that on there because that'll help get the caliper back on. Now we'll slide our caliper back in place. You'll want to set these down into this and then slip it into place. And plus watch your sliders back there, make sure they're right and everything. Here back are two fasteners. fasteners. Tight but not too super tight. Thing to remember since you press back the caliper. Got a lot of play in there, so get in there, stomp on the brakes a couple times, and reset the piston back out onto the rotor. Now we'll take the washer, slide it in there. Nut. Go back to our 36 millimeter. Should take about 150 foot pounds to tighten that down. So now you will take this piece right here. It's a little bit oddly misshapen. Stick that on there. Now we'll take our cutter pin. It's a little spread apart, so it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. It wants to go back to go back in. Set her back in there and pull her apart. They got our two lug nuts. And then basically you're done right there. Slip back on your tire, and then you're good to go. You've got a brand new wheel hub assembly put on there, and you're good going down the road without any tire wobble. Okay, I hope this video helps you out in changing your wheel hub assembly on your 2005 Jeep Wrangler. So, like always, comment, rate, and subscribe, and check me out on Dave's Garage 512 on Facebook. So, later on.